What's up with it, man? White Boy Radio back with another one. Hey, man, uh, taking y'all to work with me on this Tuesday. You got Doug Bishop coming out, and uh, he finally said something. Uh, woke up, did a video yesterday. I tagged him. Uh, hey, look, did it have something to do with it? Probably not. Maybe it did. I don't know. But either way, uh, you heard something from him, man. And uh, I took uh, a lot out of what he said. And uh, I want to put this on the internet because I've been seeing a lot of AWP videos. Uh, I'm going to speak about that too. Um, But as far as what Doug said, this is what I got out of it. You can go to his channel and hear the whole thing for yourself. If you're here, if you're here listening to me, you probably already did that. Uh, Basically, what he said is, you know, he responded and uh, he said a lot of things. He said things like. He's a changed man, uh, and he's had a rough past. He's helped a lot of people, uh, and, you know, where he comes from, that's against the code. Uh, I completely understood what he said. Some people are taking it out of context. He said he's been in the trenches, man. It's against the code. You don't, you don't hurt children. He also stated that he's a father, and that, and, and, and he wouldn't want that happening to his daughters, uh, he said there's no knowledge of it. Now, people are going to watch this video and either agree that what he said, um, that, that, you know, they're glad that he spoke up and said something and they agree that he didn't have any knowledge or they're going to say, yeah, he did have knowledge and this and that. Uh, I don't think it's that case. I don't think he had knowledge of it because he also said there's court ramifications you know, all of this is legal, man. All this stuff is legal. You know, um, he's, I highly doubt he's going to put himself in a spot uh, where he's going to say something where somebody can go dig it up to prove him wrong. Um, you have to take it for face value. Okay? And and if he is lying, it'll come out to the light. But but I don't, I don't think that. Uh, you know, when people are silent... Um, it, it, it makes you automatically look guilty. I'm glad that he did say something. Um, most people with, most fathers would have said the same thing that he said. I do believe that dude's changed. And there's no debating that he's helped families in the most healing way uh, and brought them uh, peace in their time of turmoil. You know, um, you know, we they, they did respond, man. Um, you know, I thought about it, and look, I was upset hearing this news, did the live. Uh, my confusion was I didn't know if they were related, because in my eyes, if they're related, then I think that's a dark family secret, but they're not related, him and Jared. Um, they're just they're just business partners, man. If you think about it, apply this to your own life, and you don't have to use your life. We'll use, we'll use mine. I, I, I told y'all, you know, I'm, I'm going to work. Okay, so here's the deal. My boss, I know him a little bit. Uh, I spend a lot of my life with, in, in, in that building. Um, I've never ran a background check on him. I don't know if he's got any of these crazy charges. Uh, from face value, a couple years I've worked here, um... I think he's a good dude, but if this, if the FBI rushed my job and, uh, it's found that he's a Jared, I'd be pissed, disgusted, hurt, and I'd feel crazy that I didn't look into him, but am I guilty because I didn't look into, he's just my boss, um, does, does that make sense? Listen, in no way am I justifying any of that shit that dude Jared did. And absolutely not. Uh, I hope he rots in prison. But what I took from what Doug said was, he's a father. He's changed his life. He spoke on it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I, those dudes were probably super hurt, man. Super hurt. You know, a lot of people on YouTube... You got to watch out, man. Adventures with purpose. 
and somebody like Ryan Upchurch. It is simple to make a video, put their name in the title, and get a lot of views. It is simple. Uh, it really is. Uh, it really is. If if you if if there's channels and that's all they're doing, um, well, man, look at the motive, man. Look at the motive. If nothing on their channel is positive, if nothing on their channel is, uh, you know, you, you you gotta look at the source, man. That's all I warn people, man. There's something about taking a man's accomplishments and work and and trying to defame, denounce it, and, and make money off that that rubs me the wrong way. But hey, what can we do? Uh, you know, about Ryan Upchurch, I also listened to what he said. And, uh, you know, I want to leave you with this. I don't know what you feel about Ryan Upchurch, and this is totally different than it, it, than... AWP, but they have, uh, you know, everybody knows, just like you probably watched the Doug video by now, you probably watched Up Churches too. That dude did donate a hundred grand um, directly to uh, Jared. Um, you know, that is uh, disheartening, man. Uh, I'm not going to get on here and say, uh, ha 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 ha, because uh, maybe I disagree with Up Church on something that he said in the case. No way. That is, that is, that is, um, that's, that's, uh, I don't even know how to word that. There's no way I want a, a, a chomo to have a hundred thousand dollars when he's not in jail, turned himself in. That's just money he can flee with. That's money he can do things with. That's, that's high paid lawyer money. You know how crazy up church might, um, must feel right now, and 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 I see again back to YouTube videos. Even if you if you're his biggest hater, it, for you to say ha ha ha, you gave a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, but it's in a child molester's hand. What is your point? Like you you I understand hating on him, disagreeing with him, but you really sound like a hater to a weird degree, as far as that goes. Uh, you know, that's my uh, two cents on it, man. Um, be careful with the videos, man. You know, it was just a, a month ago. A month ago in this community that we belonged in. These guys are looked like heroes, all right? And now in the same community, they're painted as devils. Um I think what the dude Jared did to his own family is uh, there's not words for it. There's words for it, but there's there's words I'm not gonna say on YouTube. Um, uh, I have no respect for that dude, and I never will. Um, it, it did hurt finding out uh, a channel that I had so much support with was involved in something like that. But man, sometimes you got to be patient and let all the information come out. And, uh, you know, legal ramifications. Doug said he had loyal lawyers working on something. No victim has said anything about him. He doesn't, ha he's not indicted. But for him to say he's got lawyers working on stuff, he's not with that. He's a dad. What I'm taking from that is uh, they're getting that brand and that ownership up out of that guy Jared's name and putting it in their name where there is no squirmish like that. That's my opinion on it. Um, you know, and, and, and I don't see how a judge wouldn't let it go that way or what. I mean, you cannot, just so you know, you can't, it, it is against the rules in prison. You cannot run a uh, you cannot run a business from inside a prison. I can tell you that personally. It's in the rules and policies, uh, at least in Florida prison. You you cannot run a business. You can't. Um, so that's what I took out of what Doug said. He didn't li he didn't literally say that, but I'm glad that he uh, spoke up finally, man. Um, another thing I want to touch about just to clear some of the drama and nonsense up, I want to explain something right quick. People have been saying that uh, 
AWP is deleting comments in regards to this guy, Jared, and 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 the allegations. Man, um, I don't. There's there's no way I'm believing uh, that these guys are sitting and looking at the computer screen all day and deleting uh, each individual comment. It's much easier than that. Um, I could tell you right now, every time I do a AWP video, I can't even answer all the comments. There's so many comments. And I and I like to engage with people. And I'm very fair if I speak about them. I don't, I don't, I don't you know, I've always been fair. And, and the supporters that AWP have have always told me that. Look, there's simple things. that I can go in my settings right now. And if I wanted to block, without going through each comment, if I wanted to block the word um, mom, any comment that you that you wrote, whether it's a paragraph or a sentence, if it says the word mom in it, it's automatically blocked. What, whatever you write, as long as it has mom in it, it's blocked. There's an option in your settings. I, this is a no-brainer. As we don't hear from them, and, and, and as people are, um, you know, impatient and, and, and bombarding videos that have intimate moments with people's families and a, and a personal story involved in it, you're bombarding it with this R word and, 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 and Jared, maybe Jared's not even in this video, Okay. I, I, I can assure you they blocked probably his name, but definitely that R stuff or allegations or indictment. There's no way a channel that big can can literally keep up with the comments because I have a, a microscopic channel compared to them, and it's hard for me to keep up with AWP comments. I'm just telling you, don't believe everything you hear on the internet. Take it from, look at the source. Uh, I'm being as fair as possible as always. Uh, I'm going to practice what I preach. This is my last uh, uh, AWP one for a while. Uh, you know, um, I su- I, I've supported them. This this hit me hard. I think there's more information out. Uh, I've heard no victim blame all members. I've only heard Jared. I did say I would not support them if I found out that they knew about it, if they were related. I am glad the man said something. Uh, I think it was needed. Uh, you know, um, tell me how you feel about it. Until the next one, uh, it's White Boy Radio.